My name is Robert. I'm this type of guy that cares about a whole bunch of people and wish the world would change. That's who I am. In 2013, on February 14th, I was rushed to the hospital. My bodily functions were not working. I was paralyzed, and they found a tumor on my TAT9. In my mind, everything was racing. Uh, tears, crying like a baby, all of the above stuff. I was afraid my husband was going to die. Everything that they said I was going to go through, I went through. I went through old school chemo, too, where I lost my hair, but I had a relapse. I went through depression. My wife got upset. And so I talked to her and said, hey, don't worry about it. We're going to get through this. Everybody's journey is different. Everybody's treatment is different. So really the, the big advance is the appreciation that uh, there are different classes of drugs that in fact can have very important and durable effects on cancer. Hi, my name is Madhav Dadapkar. I'm the Chief of Hematology at Yale University. The last 10 years, I would say, or 10 to 15 years have really been transformative. You know, prior to that, we had uh, most of our patients getting chemotherapies that had a lot of side effects, toxicities, and uh, limited impact on survival. It was difficult, it was rare for us to see patients living 10 years or longer, uh, even five years or longer uh, in many instances, and you know, get them to see their grandchildren. Um, that has been very special as a physician to actually think about the long term. My work focuses at the interface of chemistry and biology. I'm Craig Cruz. I'm a professor of molecular, cellular, and developmental biology, chemistry, and pharmacology at Yale. We've known what all possible drug targets could be with the sequencing of the human genome, but that really hasn't translated into many new drugs. Our Venice is developing a new strategy. So instead of the traditional route where one gums up, plugs, inhibits uh, a drug target, uh, our Venice's technology actually makes the protein go away. Do you think the, the tumors will be ready to, for testing? About three years ago, Craig Cruz approached me with idea he had developed and nurtured in his lab at Yale, and he was interested in, in starting a company. My name's Tim Shannon. I'm a general partner at Canaan Partners, a venture capital firm based here in Connecticut. I'm also the chairman of Arvinus, a biotechnology company based in New Haven. Uh, the idea he had come up with here was really a fascinating idea which could create an entire new class of drugs, which could do things that other drugs couldn't do. And to me, that was just too an exciting opportunity not to be involved in. The beauty of this approach is that it's a platform technology. It can be applied to many different types of cancers. Uh, breast cancer, prostate cancer, lung cancer, uh, blood tumors. These are all examples of things that we're currently uh, pursuing. Hi, my name is John Soderstrom. I'm the Managing Director of the Office of Cooperative Research here at Yale. Well, our job is to commercialize the technologies that are invented by Yale faculty. The part about this job that's most exciting is the fact that we get to work with world-class scientists on technologies that have a chance to transform the way medicine is practiced. We also have the opportunity to work with world-class investors and build teams that ultimately could become very successful companies. And seeing the, the technology all the way from an idea in a laboratory of a faculty member to FDA approval and on the market as a, a trademark drug, you just get a rush. Well, what drives me are two things, uh, my curiosity as well as impact. And with this project, I was able to uh, tick both boxes and that's uh, fortunately helping many people today. I do take a special pride in seeing ventures roll out, whether they come from our faculty or our students. Uh, I am especially proud when such a venture is able to remain in the New Haven area, because that really represents the kind of partnership we want to have with our host city. Nothing pleases me more than being invited to the ribbon cutting of a uh, company uh, in New Haven that had its origins at this university.